Hey there, friends. I am currently on the Binance.us app here. And what we're going to do today is actually send our BNB that we have stored here on the app over to our Trust Wallet app so we can trade it on the Binance Smart Chain. It's actually a super simple process. Let's do it right now. Okay, the couple of applications that you're gonna to have to have on your phone are the Binance.us application, which I have right here. And if I click on my wallet, you can see that I have some BNB right there at the top. I've got about $400 worth. I wanna send all of that over into my trust wallet. So obviously the second application that we need to have is our trust wallet. I'm gonna swing over and open up this application. As you can see, I have another few hundred bucks sitting on this wallet. Now, if Trust Wallet is something you need, you can download it from your app store. Go ahead and set it up. We actually have a video on the channel if you're interested in checking that out. And then what we need to do is make sure we have the Binance Smart Chain active as well as BNB down here at the bottom, depending on the type of coin you are wanting to send. So in order to enable those to see them in your Trust Wallet, we're just gonna click that little gear icon up there at the top right. That is gonna bring up some options here. You can type in at the top BNB, and obviously you can see the two that immediately come up are right there at the top. Simply slide the bar over so everything is green like I've done, and then click done. Okay, once we're back on our wallet, we can see that, that we have the BNB Smart Chain as well as BNB down there. I'm gonna be sending the BNB that I have on Binance.us to the Smart Chain this time. So what I need to do is just click on Smart Chain there. This is gonna bring up our specifics for our wallet account. And as you can see, we have a receive button up there at the top. If I click on that, we can get our wallet address right there. So at this point, we can just hit that copy button. That's gonna copy our wallet address. And then let's go back over to Binance. And from here, we can click on that BNB option at the top. That's gonna to bring us into our wallet here, again on Binance.us. And then we can hit that withdraw button up there at the top. I'm gonna to click on that. And then I'm gonna select the amount that I want to send. So for this case, let's just send about $25. So I'm gonna do 0 0.05, and we're gonna preview the withdrawal. Now, if you're just sending over to BEP2 or your regular BNB wallet, you can use that, or you can use the BSC. And in this case, we're using BSC because we want Binance Smart Chain. So I wanna click Understood. And we're gonna, instead of use the BEP2, we want to use the BEC up there at the top. Okay, and then we're going to come over here. I'm gonna click on paste. And that's gonna put that wallet address that's on our trust wallet right there for us. I'm gonna click on done. And then we're gonna preview the withdrawal. Okay, and as you can see, there's a little withdrawal fee. And at the time of this video, that withdrawal fee is going to be roughly 24 cents. So again, pretty low fees, pretty great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click withdraw BNB. Okay, the last thing we need to do because I have all sorts of good authentication processes in place for security is I need to go into my email. I need to click the confirmation email that just came through. Okay, now we're just going to hit the refresh button here. And this can take just a little bit of time. Obviously, the withdrawal is in process. And so as you can see down there at the bottom, there's that little orange dot that's right next to the BNB. Now that would take just, again, a few minutes usually. What we can do is go over to our trust wallet and go back to our main wallet account here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh things. And as you can see, we just received that 0 0.0495 BNB. Let me hit refresh again. And as you can see, that moved in. And so now we have a balance of $28 that added to the roughly $4 that I already had in here in my account. Now from there, we can actually connect to PancakeSwap through the Trust Wallet. You can swap for all sorts of other coins, or you can keep BNB. This is a very uh, volatile coin, but it's potentially something fun that allows you to do all sorts of really great stuff on the Binance Smart Chain. So again, not financial advice, just wanted to show you how this process worked. If this has helped, please hit that thumbs up button for us. Let us know we are making good videos for you and stay tuned because we're actually making a bunch more of these tutorial videos for cryptocurrency in hopes to make this environment a little bit more user-friendly. Subscribe and we'll see you again on the next one.